Alrighty then, folks. Fuckerinos, hello everybody. All, well, anyone who's watching in the future. Hi, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. I woke up 20 minutes ago. Now oh, I need a source. Where's the source projector? There it is. I did it, I got the thing. Now I can see what I'm doing, what I'm playing. And where the fuck we were. Which... Yep, Cobalt Coastlands. I remember. Oh, who's stopping me? Is it Ray? Da, if it ain't... If it ain't Hikari! Da, I forgot that this man is essentially a southern preacher. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I run into you in this village here. Where are you going to study Pokemon next, huh? Dave, how you doing, my man? Though the Cobalt Coastlands, Polina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. Polina, huh? She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. Unlike myself, with my noble Cleavor, Blessed by the true almighty Sinnoh himself. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Man, show me where the fuck these guys are at. I'll fucking handle them. I got a fucking Bakutaro with a name on it, you know what I mean? Go Godzilla down their throats. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, Thayan, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by sudden stones, which hold mysterious power. Oliver, hello there! Welcome to the great stream of the true almighty Sinnoh! How are you both doing today? With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. You need look no further than Cleavor for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power that Almighty Sinnoh, praise be unto his name, used to create the universe. Man, it's too fucking early in my day to be going this hard into Southern Baptist Preacher, I tell you that much. These fucking evangelists, this evangelist kit needs to calm the fuck down. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. <coughs> Ooh, grit pebbles. Those I can use. Three grit gravel. And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild even has them from time to time. Y'all got bacon? I got a fucking burrito. Bacon is a banging. Alright, for now, move those over. Candy truffle, I can use that to make rare candies, can't I? Alright, there we go. Right, wrong one. Alright, a little bit of grit gravel. Nope, you're up at level 6. That's fine. Yuli, level 6. Beautifly, which I really need to rename Sweep. Urbosa. Urbosa has no special attacks. She's got no special attack. Of course not. Staraptor. And floaties. Yeah, it'll raise up floaties. <sighs> Jesus Christ on a biscuit, man.
Yeah, why not? We'll ramp back to Harder right the fuck up. And in the meantime... Mm. Breakfast, man. Breakfast. Oh. Your past two days have not been great for me. I'll give you that much. I fucking go to sleep at midnight. And I wake up at like 7 in the morning. Right? Absolutely fine. Can't get out of bed until like 12. I don't know what the fuck exactly is going on with that. But the struggle is fucking real. Hey, yo, Ginkgo motherfuckers, I kind of need to sell some things. Ooh, they got a bit more now. Iron Bark Tongue. That sounds so cool. Alright. Oh, that's ten grand for them fucking star pieces. Hello? Y'all got new styles? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Headkerchiefs, headbands, Krogong, Twisted Headbands, Woven Hat, the Festival Hops, which, there they look alright enough. Oh shit, a Lilligant one. Alright, Ursula looks alright, Cleaver looks alright, Seascape looks alright, Typhlosion looks really good, but I don't think it, mas it matches the, uh, the all-white drip we got going on, you know what I mean? Earth, flame. Same with the uh, with the trousers here. Though straight up, why we've got short shorts is beyond me. Oh, that matches my white and pink though. Damn it. Yeah, split toes. Fancy Zori. And standardized gator, but no fancy gator, that's annoying. Right, we's all done. In fact, we're not going to go to the Cobalt Coastlands just yet. Which. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands is all the way over there. Where I thought the. Uh, send off spring would be. That's interesting. It's very interesting, actually. But also notice that the clouds have lifted. Which means as we get access to these certain points on the map. That's where the battle facilities will be in the future. That means that the clouds are going to lift. Wonderful. Alright, first and foremost. Shellos. Where the fuck are we going to find Shellos in this place? So I haven't seen a single shellos on the way. It's gotta be down around here, right? That'd be a shonks. Oh, fuck. Shit, that's a Luxio. Motherfucker firing thunder at me. 
I'll fucking dare, bitch. I tried. Oh, Bakutaro looks so cool, though! Every time, man, every time. Level 18. Whoops. Crushed him. Spoiled apricorn, bitch, get that shit out of my inventory. We ain't disgusting like that. We don't run that way. Nope. 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 You didn't see shit. Y'all didn't see shit, boy. Yo, I need more apricorns. Holy shit. Fine, you wanna fucking go? I'll fucking have you too then, Starivia. This will wipe it surely, I'm level 42. Oh, one shot, of course it is. Duh. Look at them all hanging out like. Cool as fuck, if you ask me. Sand gem. That's where Sand Gem City's gonna be. Damn, I. Try and get me up here, bitch. Oh shit, there's your fucking big old Luxio. And that's an apple. Fine, I suppose I'll kick your ass too on my fucking quest for Abra. Hey, old Dave, how many tries did it take you to catch Abra? It's a giant Staravia. Just one with yourself, Dave. I got myself an Abra in two shot. Oh, that's Big Daddy Luxray. The problem is, I know there's an Alpha Luxray somewhere. Somewhere here. Thing is... Do I want to catch an Alpha Luxray just to have a bigger version of Urbosa? Bigger and better stats, seemingly. Hmm. 
It's tempting. I'm not gonna lie, it's fucking tempting. But her boss has earned her nickname, you know? I don't think I could do it. I really don't. Yo, Gastro! Straight up with a Gastrodon. Fucking fight, Gastro. I'll fucking fight. Oh, bulky. Ah, you fuck. <clears throat> oh, Yuli living on one. No, I don't need to, uh... I got... <coughs> the gastro's probably heavy. <laughs> Mud Bomber. Oh, I'll throw a fucking Great Ball again. Sorry, Yuli. sake. I have nothing I can put it to sleep with, nothing I can paralyze it with, because, you know, it doesn't get fucking... wait. This is a terrible idea. But if it works... I got off what I wanted to get off. That's all I needed.
Mm-mm. Back of me fucking burrito opened up. Mr. Mime. The sunset looks really nice in, uh, we'll say in this game. Not gonna lie. Not going that way. So dumb. <clears throat> Having a six foot seven. <laughs> Dave, how did you not catch this instead? Level 60, huh? Oh, this is gonna be fun. One shot. Not a one shot. But it did lower my defense. Two shots left. Ow. My poor Bakataro. I'm about to do something real dumb. Real dumb. Piece of shit. Mate, I'm done caught a fucking shiny already. So you can survive one. You can't survive one. Well, this thing's gonna shred me.
I catch this, I swear down. Level 60, Alakazam, nonetheless, Alpha Alakazam. Two great balls, bitch. Two great balls, but, you know, three Pokemon down. <laughs> oh, such is the way, such is the way, such is the way. Hundred points off. How are you gonna do that to me? How are you gonna do me like that? Holy shit! All right. Main area time. <clears throat> off to the Cobalt Coastlands. Shut up. Damn. Oh, shut up, Alice. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. Simply a lovely corner of the Sui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I simply cannot wait to study them all. So this is going to be set in the 1800s. Or so. Around about the, when the Meiji Restoration took place was when Japan got access to cameras. And around that time... Admittedly, uh, we'll see it. And people thought cameras would steal your soul. So that's interesting. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon. But let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Yeah, boy. <clears throat> Fire Spit Island. Indeed. Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it, which means you're going to need Basque Legion. I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called Iskan. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Yo, show. Show shit. Rest till morning, boy. <coughs> <coughs> oh, could barely fucking clear my throat there. Unpleasant doesn't even begin to describe that. Hey, Irida! Hello! Hello, Irida! I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the en very ends of space. But I'm here and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game shit. Fuck me up. Very good. 
You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. I've, I've got Bakutaro. Your Glaceon ain't shit. Long flamethrower and your dead ass. Wait, an Eevee as well? Alright. This, this is gonna be. <laughs> Unless that Eevee has bite, it can't touch me. Oh. Well, fuck baby doll eyes. I love it. This bitch challenged me to a fight. Bakutaro shows up and he's just like, Hey, what's your favourite kaiju movie? Well, you're wrong, because it's Godzilla. Ah, uh, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I'm small within it. Thank you, and allow me to heal your Pokemon. Alright, with you, I think I can be frank. I thought you were Irida. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. But in truth... Holy shit, a bot. Bye, B. Sometimes I, won I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have, we have a warden in the coastlands. A lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no lord or lady. And she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat, either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, let us say, Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become the leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal, too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after to, into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help th in this, with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleavor's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up in the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Well, first and foremost, I kind of need a blue shellos. Oh, got me all around here. Oh, those are the bean things. Alright, so it's Tangela. Tangela, Glamiao, Skaroopy, a big fucky offy drapey on. Yo, just call me Avenge Sevenfold City of Evil album, because I'm here to burn it down. Feel. Alright, so for Sphere, I'm gonna have to hit it with a great ball, then I.
Oh my fucking god, these fucking tree hitboxes, man. Oh, these are pot pods. Easy. Oh, that's a big rat choke. That must be the one you caught, eh, Dave? So that is some big daddy shit right there. Thought so. I need to train up before I catch that bastard, I'll tell you that much. That's a big fucking artillery. Cast away shore. Seaside hollow. That's where turn back cave is? I was right. I'll tell you now, I'm definitely trying to look for a, uh, what's it, an Alpha Stantler. Get a giant weird ear. Alright, Hugo, what you done? Alright.
fucking go? Fine, we'll fucking go. Keep your guard up. Size shield bash. The fuck is a size shield bash? Holy shit. Okay, I'd be lying if I didn't see this coming. Uh, Arcade, you nasty plotted. Oh, and we got the fucking boost. Mud bomb. Mud mud bomb. Mud bomb. Your mate's an idiot. I hope you know that. You're both idiots. I hope you know that. Wow. Interesting, interesting. Well, the apon weren't that fucking hard. Come off it, mate. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> They probably just wanted someone to play with, let's face it. The Parasect is piss. And decent experience, Jesus Christ. experience L. Yo, that is going on beautifully. That is absolutely going on sweet. Air Slash is special. Same accuracy as, uh, as Air Cutter. Easy. What's the new fox Pokemon call? What? 
There's a new fox pup. There should what? You ain't all about Hisuian Zoro, are you? There's honey everywhere. I'm not even close. Wait, is that a Mothim? Oh, Mothim can be real damaging, funnily enough. Alright, pink burn bag. This is gonna be my new test for a rest. Demolish. Piece of shit. Fuck. <clears throat> Yo, where the fuck, or rather, when do you get Hisuian Zora? Do you know? Because, uh, I think it's safe to say I'm a few areas away, but I swear down, sad fox. Can't wait. Need fly. All right, good. I'll take that. Yeah, I've got nothing. Also, oh, wrong one. Settings. Motion sensitivity. Anything above one is absolutely fucking touchy as shit. Where's the fucking bag? There it is. There you go, Richie Rich. I got your bag for you. Right, trust. Y'all motherfuckers don't want this smoke, guarantee. You just, you just don't. Alright, I'm stunned for a few turns, that's cool. Oh, some grit dust. I'll take grit dust. Hundo merit points and a full heal. Not bad. The only active volcano I know of <clears throat> in Diamond and Pearl, in the Sinnoh region, 
is... Fuck, what was it called? Stark Mountain. Which is where Heatran lies. Problem is... Right? Stark Mountain ain't supposed to be till up there. You know, this area is what will become the Pokemon League. And Sunny Shore, probably down there. Because, you know, that's where Ginkgo Landon is, and that is my bet where Sunny Shore would be. Wait, Veilstone Cape? And they're really fucking me up with these uh, actual fucking names showing up, but that that's where I want to go first, more than anything. I want to hit turn back cave, see what's in there, what's the deal. Oh shit, dust docks. I caught dust docks, didn't I? Unobtained. Oh, I'll fuck it up. Oh, that's a big glam, yeah. Wow. That is a chunky fucking glam, yeah. Looks like fucking hand, that's weird. No, okay. None of y'all want this fucking smoke, guarantee. All right, Polina. Yes, the best boys. Hush now, settle down. All right. I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan. Who might you be? Ah, so you're the child from the Galaxy Team. Wait. Oh, God, there's something about that I recognize and I just can't fucking think of it. Shit. I heard how you aided Cleavor and Lilligant when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. I'm a fucking child! So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord swallowed by the waves. Oh shit! Yo, rock. Is it just rock? I think it's rock fire. Maybe, I can't remember what type in Hisuian Growlithe is, but. Oh, that's horrifying. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. Shit. Okay, they're just throwing me under the fucking bus here. Jesus. If you were to guess which of these Growlithe would you say is the previous Lord's child? Oh, it's the small one. It's guaranteed the small one. Oh, you have quite the good eye. The quiet, skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous lord. It's fucking precious. I've no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he's ready. But I could never bring myself to do that. Respect. <clears throat> no matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. 
So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? <clears throat> I make for Fire Spit Island. I'm here to help. Uh, did Irida ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply doesn't concern you. So now that you know our situation, I I reiterate, bitch. Fine, fire spit. A survey of Fire Spit Island. I see. There are rumors that the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a no Pokemon known as Basque Legion if you wish to cross the sea. <clears throat> you should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There's definitely something strange happening out on Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course. But then there's also the odd lightning that came down from that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl and Diamond clans were locked in a conflict over which sire to revere the true Almighty Sinnoh. How about fucking neither of you, you dumb fucks? Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. But I digress, I do apologize. Man, that's literally both of y'all worshiping the wrong motherfucker. Like, one of you worships Palkia, the other worships fucking Dialga, and Arceus is literally on the front cover of the fucking game. Iskan lives on Apalm Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. That's why it's shaped like that. Oh, poor little fucker. Lunker's Lair. Ow. I'm never getting back up here if I fucking try. Or if I don't. Actually, I'm probably never getting back up here anyway. Alright. Never mind, I'm good. Nineteen in the area here. <sighs> Let his jankers all get out. Out on Ginkgo's landing, huh? All right. That's easy enough to get to, at least. Oh, that's a big wall vein. Combi, a bomb, actually a bomb. Turn around, bitch. Right. I did not fucking release that. But yeah, I'll take an eight bomb. No, no. Volo, my man. Excellent. Why, hello there, Miss Akari. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? Yeah, so-so. 
I got a few. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain place when you quell frenzied nobles, and when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates reminds me of the ancient hero. One that's set to have battled against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, the real one. You know, I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Ten. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero, then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Frenzied Arceus? Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please, don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. Deuce is going to go, uh, Volo. Do, do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. So who the fuck are you based on? So, um... I'm Iskan of the Diamond Clan. A Galaxy Team member with a Celestica Flute. Oh, you, you must be Hikari, right? Uh, have I done something to warrant your visit? No. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. So, um, w why are you here? So you... you want to go to Firespit Island? Uh, well, if you insist, then you probably need uh, Basket Legion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite... oh, it, it, it's um, more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle. Or just... really just impossible, if I'm being honest. How come, bitch? I'll tell you, I, I have the right materials, but... But then you, well... You see, this next part is something I could never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Now go on. You, you, you really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? No. It's d d dust dust clops. Oh. Oh, even saying its name fills me with dread. So, the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor by Dusclops' Dark Pulse. That's the only way you can make Basket Legion's favorite food, you see? Alright. Wow, is everyone in the Galaxy Team just like you? Your nerves aren't just steel. They're a battle we haven't actually discovered yet. It's positively frightening how uh, fearless you are. D -d 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 I can't say it. Pokemon has only one eye and it can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Over that way. It's the area that looks like a hand. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. I'll t t I t try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, so I know a lot about them. You see? What a fucking wuss. Oh shit, that's a big ol' amber ball. Fine, you wanna fucking go, bitch? Level 50? It's got T-Bolt. It has fucking T-Bolt. Fuck it. Go, go, Godzilla. Burn? Burn. I'll take the burn. Double hit, that just negated it. A crit wasted my Bakutaro. Let's... 
Plus the burn. Burn was healed. I ain't gonna pull it. Wound range. Motherfucking. And it's dead. Dumbass. Absolute fucking dumbass. Satchel's full. It's got all of them, no one fucking wants those. Scatterbangs, that's all that is. Don't I? No, I'm going the right way. Only appears at night, though. And it seems I've just squandered my chance. I got a thunderstone from that. Shut up. So what the fuck is with these two fucking giant pincer ass looking things? Father's Lagoon, Hideaway Bay, Deadwood Haunt is all the way back fucking there, Jesus Christ. Wait. It's a bit of a different fucking area, isn't it? Deadwood fucking haunt, he said. Not fucking there. Just go back. It's just starlies everywhere. You know what? Alright, coward, fuck off then. Oh shit, that's a wild star raptor.
Excelente. Bitch, you didn't see shit. You did see shit. Oh, well, flashy little fucker. I guess I won't reach so far. Oh shit, Golducks. The fucking Alpha Golduck to the right, left over there. Holy shot. You really hit me with a hypno. Piece of shit. How dare. His parody is in the red. Victory! And there's no fucking grass around. Well, there is, it's just up there. Fuck. No, I could get the fucking satchel. But honestly. Doing that will give me just a second, and the second that I need, because my fucking nail done broke. Yeah, that'll do. See, how can I tell what time it is? I can't. <clears throat> if I rest until the evening, then I can go get that fucking dust skull. Pops, even. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, really? That's just fucking... What's his face's house? Are you kidding me? That is so unbelievably cheap. Oh shit, that's a drift limb. 
Oh, that's gonna hurt. You know, it just hit me that the place is called Bather's Lagoon, not Bather's Lagoon. Sometimes, but I'm not a smart man. Alright, we are officially in Spook Town. Spook Territory. So where the fuck are them fucking dust skulls be? Where are dust clopses be? Dust clopes? What's that just flapping about? Well that's a drift blimp. It's not quite the right Pokemon. I was gonna say, my poor fucking Luxray is drowning. Yo, where in the actual fuck's name are these fucking dust clopes? These <clears throat> dust clopes? I have heard of Sims 4. I've never played it, but I've heard of it. Paralyze this bitch. To be fair, all of what I've heard about say I will say uh Sims 4 is that you know about the uh, the terrible fucking pricing of its DLC. This thing can't do anything to me. I'm, I've got no worries. That was a crit. Alright. Yo, swapping back Taro. She ain't gonna do nothing. Ten gen challenge. <laughs> oh shit! A ten gen challenge and the mum's dead. Fuck. Oh, hopefully she at least popped out a sprog or two, eh? 
Dad downloads. Smart man. Good man. You know, that's how you do. Okay, good. She popped out Sprogs. We good. There's your 10-gen challenge, at least. Still intact. Imagine if she died without, uh, what's it? Gen 2's in uni. Fair. God's sake, that is infuriating. Right, I get you, I get you. Bonk him in the eye. T wave the living shit out of this bitch. Getting paralytic. Still use dark pulse. I'm, I'm well fucked. <laughs> Hit with a Nihile style. Gonna look this vegetarian. Jealous. Alright, you know what? That makes sense. Hit him again, please don't fucking hit avoided. Piece of shit. Into green, same shit. God damn it, twice in a row, Arbosa? Are you kidding me? 95% my fucking arse. It either hits or it don't. Now if I'm right, bug resists dark. And it's resisted by my, uh, what's the promise? It resists my silver wind anyway, so... It avoided that too! Good, it's in the red. Got the power. Cure the paralysis. What the fuck? That was a hundred percent fucking accurate. All right, what the fuck's got? Uh, what's what's the deal with dust cops? That there's something not right there. There's something that just ain't fucking right there. It's, it's either holding something or... I have no fucking revives. God damn it, Steve! Alright, that gives it enough.
Alright, we got the goddamn fuck mother and dust clops. <sighs> Rest up till fucking morning. Something wrong with my fucking controller. Going normally. Nothing. Press B. Notice how the right stick spin, span a bit. <laughs> the dust bops. Did I bring the dust bops? I brought the dust bops. I'm I'm calling him dust bops. That's hilarious. Fucking dust bops. You really brought it? No, don't, don't bring it out. Right, I, I, I guess I've got to do my part, seeing how um determined you are to go to that island with Basque Legion. I usually I um ask Polina if the growler she takes care of can help me with this bit. But this time you need to help since, well, since we're making this snack so that you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Once I give the. <laughs> He actually calls it dust bops. Once I give the signal, you have that dust bops of yours to use its dark pulse. Three, two, one. Oh, it's too frightening. Oh, get a fucking grip, you smackhead. Right. So counting down to it just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. <gasps> and go! <laughs> a bowl of Basque Legion food. Ugh. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basculesian food. And let's make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basculesian there. Hey yo, don't give me a lift then. So I, I am my own lift. Hello, Walrein. Bye bye, Walrein. Oh, hello, Hikari. I was just waiting for you. Hello, Iskan. Oh, Polina. I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. Yo, they fucking. I'm sure Hikari can keep a secret. Besides, both I and Growlith, the Growlithe pups were eager to meet the great Basculesian again. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basculesian. He is more than a man. He is more than a fish. I am Murloc.
Hey yo, the great 2D fucking Basque Legion over here. What the hell is up with this model? God damn, my man looks like a fucking PNG that's being moved. Go on, Hikari. You can give to the food to Basque Legion now. Alright, here you go, dickhead. Oh! The great Basque Legion. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this favor. So, uh, Hikari, you should let Basque Legion hear you're playing. Hey, yeah, uh, sure, let me just pull out my fucking flute. From somewhere. Alright. And he gave us a splash plate. Just somehow splash plate. Now you can ride Basque Legion across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Spit Island. Come on. Uh, congratulations to you, Hikari. Polina, do you want to tell her? I mentioned to you before how the previous Lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskan and Basque Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskan here. I truly adore him. But I know there are those who will speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet with Iskan where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Man, I doubt he cares. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless. After that day, I found the strength to accept Growl as he is and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskan. Ah, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. Like I said, man, they banging. Oh, shit. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go. And ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win, and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest, the coin. But I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Yo, why the fuck do you guys feel like feel the need to team rocket this shit up every fucking where you go? We are the Ginyu Force! Known across the frigid land of Asui, and your la luck's just run out. Now get ready to hand over that Growlithe. You want to take my partner. If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Thank you. Yeah, e exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Oh, damn. Hey yo, that means smidgen over here is gonna fucking grow up real fucking nice and strong. Tja! Thanks for the Growlithe, fools! We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely against the in the great land of Hisui, we need to have powerful Pokémon on our side. Don't worry. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Let's take them up back to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Shadows of Fire Spit Island. Aye, aye. So I'm about to go over there on the back of a fish and fuck him up. No, Crowlith! Don't motherfuckers want to let me, you know, play the game yet, or... What do we do, Akari? This is an emergency, right? Oh, but you see, I've never... I've never actually had my partner battle before. Wuss! Please, Akari, I beg you. Help us. 
That Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. <laughs> they said they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around the Cobalt Coastlands that seems suitable is Fire Spit Island. Oh no. Now that you have the Basket Legion to help you cross the water, you can reach the island too. Please, could you find it in me to help Polina? I, I, duh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. We will make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. No, Polina, you should wait here and keep little Growlithe safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though, so, I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and... No! Come on, Hikari! No time to think! We gotta go! You should also know that Basculation can jump from the water surface and then jump again in the air? What the fuck? It can double jump? To throw items from Basculation's back? Oh. Cool. Think you could have a head over first? Fucking wuss. <laughs> hey, when you're in the water, yo, that's useful. Yo. This is fucking cool. Excuse me? Wait. Yo, Hisuian Quillfish. It's a fuck mother and his soyan quillfish. And it fucking avoided it as well. Barb Barrage. It ain't gonna fucking hit. It ain't gonna miss, rather. That hurt. But I got two hits on my own coming up. Alright, perfect. It's in the red. Alright, this thing better evolve. If Quillfish doesn't evolve, I'm going to be proper fucked off. Oh, Fucking shred this Staravia. Hold on. Ah, damn it. Double damn it. Triple damn it. Quadruple damn it. some of my own health, my god. Oh. oh, well that worked. Hi, user. Report. Y'all can straight up fuck off. Oh my god, another one! Holy shit balls. One after another. What is the chances, man? 
Oh, that's a mantine. Tidal Passage. I can fucking wait, I know exactly where I want to go. See if I can even get there yet. Alright, no, those are just standard ass tentacles. Never mind. I legit thought they were fucking Hisuian tentacruel. The tentacruel look for a minute. Oh, that's a big one. Can't go any further? Where am I? Oh wow, I'm well off. Okay. I'll spy sure. Spring path. Seems like there's no way in yet. Interesting. I wonder if a path will open up post game. Yo, Imperatora. Hello. Fuck. It ran. Wait. Oh, fine. Toast it. Shit. And we got the burn though. Nasty plot, free burn turn. And a burn turn.
I swear, if there ain't a way to get on there, what's it? Get into turn back cave in this game. I'm going to be disappointed, but it's also going to make too much sense. Okay. Oh, Fire Spirit Island. It's certainly hot enough to feel like a sweat bath, isn't it? And now we've got a ghost and bandits to deal with on top of the heat. Well, I'm very sorry, but do you think you could lead the way, Hikari? A poor Growlithe. I don't dare imagine what those bandits are doing to him now, but I'm too much of a fucking coward to go up and do anything about it myself. Not bad. Hey, yo, that a magmar? That a magmar. If I send out a bosa, get the uh, get the paralysis. The flamethrower does a lot. Come on, Arbosa, hit the bastard. That's more like it. Alright, brought most of the way down. It's a lot to do. I'll take it. A molten arena, huh? <clears throat> Come on, evolve already! We've done our homework! Any Pokemon gutsy enough to come to this lava trap is supposed to get evolved, so get on with it! You will become stronger, like it or not. Oh look, the pest again. Stand back, sisters. I'll take care of her. Go, Obama Snow, smash this full to pieces. Okay, wrong Pokemon on my choice.
This is gonna be fucking hilarious. It's dead. It's fucking dead. Just... What's your favorite kaiju? Nah, it's Godzilla, bitch. I don't get it! How'd I lose? Yee. <laughs> How'd you lose? I went Godzilla down your face. You know, Obama Snow can't fight a full power in this crazy heat like that. It wasn't a fair battle. We're basically going easy on you. In fact, how dare you make poor Obama Snow battle in such a stupidly hot place? Oh yeah, because I threw him out. You're the one who sent out Obama Snow, sister. Go on then, Toxicroak. Pour out some poison for our unwelcome guest. Damn, Saturn's fucking something, man. That coin, I suppose. Saturn. Whatever. Yo, that fucking whale of a dive bomb. Thing's dead. It's another one move massacre. Hmm. What the fuck's a moon curve? I've heard that once. Mm. Can't remember for life me where from. Mm. God, you ever get it where fucking a tortilla just gets stuck everywhere in your gob? Or at least just especially fucking glue-like. <clears throat> what a blithering moon calf I am. How could I let myself lose? I guess I lose the coin toss sometimes. <laughs> I did warn you, didn't I? That I had a, store, a score to settle with the galaxy team? All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here from the Kanto region to work. It's not Bertha, that's Agatha. I'm going to make you pay for every last slight. Damn. Not what I expected. It is Bertha. Are Bertha and Agatha related? And there's the Gengar. Oh damn, that did a lot of damage. It'll never crunch, bitch, I dare ya. This won't shit. This weren't shit. Hmm. What a disgrace. A just more fucking coins voice in it. How could all of us have beaten? Hey, Charm! I healed up a bomb of stone coins tax to grow. Good as new. Now we can keep battling until we run out of potions. 
She knows. Yo, little man coming in. What? Hey, no one invited you, Tiny. You're really going to, going to insist on getting in the way, you little runt. Hmm. Take him down, Toxic Croak. I know what's happened. Hang in there, Bomb Snow. Smash that runt! Growlithe, please stop. You cannot beat such foes. Polina, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting with little Growlithe. I was, but then he jumped into the ocean and swam all the way here. This little thing's a fucking badass. Into the ocean? But he was terrified of the ocean after it swallowed up the former lord. And his own father. And this is where the realization kicks in. Oh, fuck. What? Are they really gonna Mufasa fucking the old Arcanine? Oh, that's so cool! I, fuck their dialogue. You something's not worse. Oh shit. Witnessing first hand, it seems. Oh, that is fucking terrifying. One of Almighty Sinnoh's fucking chosen, and I'm about to beat the living shit out of all of you. What? Polina, stay back! <laughs> What's happened to him? The strange lightning hit him. He's become frenzy just like the other nobles. Oh, this is exactly why I didn't want to come to this island. Everything was going just as we'd wanted before that awful mutt ruined everything. Enough of this, sisters. We leave this place. We won't be making any living without our lives. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, wait! This is all your fault! We should get out of here too, Polina. Otherwise, we're fair game for our canine. Come on, Hikari. We should hurry. Yeah, I ain't hurrying. Apparently, I'm hurrying. Lena! What are you t what are you gonna do about Growlithe? I mean, our canine? That dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. As his warden, it's my duty to protect everything I have. He looks fine. Ikari, what must we do to quell his frenzy? Please, tell us what we need. We'll need to make some bombs. Yo, Irida knows. Bombs? Irida, what are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. Is it so surprising that I know a little more of these things than you, Lena? Bitch! I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist. Stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware you're our leader, Irida. How could I forget that, uh, forget that you were the one chosen? You, who can use your Celestica Flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you to even the farthest reaches of vast history. I've learned a little about these frenzies as well. There's a special method for dealing with them. We can make bombs, pouches containing a mix of the Lord's favorite foods, and throw them from a safe distance. Ain't that right, Hikari? Yup. Well, uh, in that case, I do always carry some of Growlithe's favorite foods with me, so I can thank him when he uses flame to help prepare Basculin's favorite meal. Why, Eskan, once again, your thoughtfulness saves the day. Now we can make those bombs right away, huh? Yup, let's get right to work. Uno momento.
They're ready. Here are the bombs we need. Please let me know when you feel prepared to take and try to quell our Lord Arcanine's frenzy. <laughs> no, it's right at that. It was just a case of me. Yo, why doesn't he fucking appear then? Yo, hit me up. We in, we in for this. Are you ready, Hikari? Yo, we run in. Hikari, please, do your utmost to save my dear RK9. He may finally have become a lord, but it's clear that this frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard. The late Lord RK9 would launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering light around himself. Light? Remember that while you're dodging, moves will slip right by you. Good luck. The fuck's game? Yo, look at this fucker though. Lord of the Isles. Ah, ho, ho, ho. I guess I need to close that one. Single water pulse is gonna do it. This is legit the easiest fucking fight yet. The match bit works, and I love that. But he's only just become a fucking arcanine. He barely knows how to fucking control himself. It's so goddamn cool. Yo, look. The strange lad has left our canine and is vanishing into the space time rift. Goddamn. Look at that motherfucker. Flame plate. Because reasons. What could possibly lie on the other side of that rift, I wonder? Old Daddy Arcanine. What? That was two different Arcanine cries just now. Oh, 
Yo, his fucking spirit still here. Oh, now I understand. <sighs> My little Growlithe. No, I'm a spoke. Lord of the Isles, our canine. You and I must now live apart so that we may attend our separate duties. Bitch, what? Y'all abandoning this motherfucker just because he came a lord. Now, now, I'll be well. You're strong. Far stronger than me, in fact. From now on, let us strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Lorden? <laughs> now go, Lord RK9. Your realm awaits. Where the fuck's he gonna go? We're in his fucking realm! What's he gonna do? T2 into the fucking lava? Um, uh, was I the only one who felt like they heard a cry of a previous Lord Arcanine earlier? How odd. I certainly didn't. Wow, gaslight this motherfucker. Please, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? No, no, no need to worry, Scan. I only kid. I also heard the voice of the previous Lord calling out to us. <coughs> Excuse me. It seems I wasn't the only one watching over his young pup this whole time. Hikari, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord R. Canine. I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but please look after Irida as well. Hey, yo, Irida's home, girl. We got this. Now then, Iskan, I believe we better be off. Yeah, before you get fucking convection cooked by all the lava. Ikari, I wasn't much use just watching from the side, was I? You know, when Lena wouldn't raise Growlithe to be a new lord, and people in our clan were down on her fitness as warden, I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. It's a warden. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through that training? She's got a point. Those words left me with much to consider. And even when our canine became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. Yeah, that ain't fucking true. Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs, something you could have done without me. Is that so praiseworthy? Do I deserve to be recognized for such a slight contribution? Hey, yo, group project, everyone contributes. I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young, with no grand vision for what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sights. Even some even even as some called me old fashioned for it. But watching you I finally see. I know what I want to do. I want to protect this vast land Husui. Grant me another battle someday, Hikari. I want to battle alongside my partners so we can grow strong enough to be of, of help to you and to broaden the horizons of the world I see. Looks like I've got Lena to thank for yet, for yet another lesson that I've learned. I should let her know. And hear more about her relationship with Warden Niskan while I'm at it. Here's where we part for now, Hikari. I need to get off this oven of an island. God damn, I gotta find me a fucking, uh, what's we'll it? A fucking Hisuian Growlithe. Somewhere. If anywhere, I would expect them to be on Fire Spit Island, you know? But apparently not. Huh? 
I'll take that. 16 wisps remaining. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I fucking love Ursaluna. Old verse number four. What? Part of a series of old poems that have been unearthed about Hisui region. Yeah. Ten Pokemon, the ancient hero's loyal retinue. Though these companions are now gone, their noble duty passes on to generations new. The people thank the ten descendants for their generous toil. By lining vessels built to last with water clear and choice repast. Before the arena's soil. Nice. Can't get to turn back cave though. Not yet. We can probably fly in there. Damn, I didn't even think of that. We can probably fly in there. I do have all these uh, little areas to fucking find, well, to explore, I should say. But. Wait, what? Now we can shift. Off to beachside camp. Yes. Caught 12 Pokemon in the area. Oh yeah, and the fucking... I forgot about the Blissey. Uh, the Chansey even. Eight grand! Yo, it's time for a shopping spree, I believe. New observations made. Seven ninety, I'll take it. Four star, baby. You quote the new Lord or canine? Oh, let's tell Commander Commodo the good news, shall we? Back to Jubilife we go. Mother why does, why does it look like these are still open? I don't believe I've captured a blue shellos yet. Sure I've noticed that. That's a floatzel. Um, Yorick. Nope. Coastlands camp. That's going to be useful. First and fucking foremost, gotta find a fucking shallows.
Don't seem like there's gonna be a shell that's around here. I'm probably shit out of luck. What else is new? All right, you know what, man? By Fire Island. Cheers, Dave. All right, power get. Yo, we barely lived that. We straight up barely lived that. Alright, another one and bring it down to one. I'm gonna guess the power. No catch. twice in a fucking row god damn come on god damn it Gyarados thrice in a row yo alpha Gyarados catch It's on the coast of Fire Island, isn't it? Or Fire Spit Island, even. Or is it on there? Beating it in the back of the head for one time. Oh shit, a Wormadam! Fucking steal. This is 
gonna hurt. Sheer of our wind. <coughs> Alright, if I use Roost, I lose my flying type in, so I lose my stab. Means this is gonna do basically fucking nothing. Living on one, baby! Living on one! Gravel? Nah, mate, I fucking need that. Alright, useless. Let's make some shit up. Wait, hold on. Alright, that cleared out a bit. Alright, now we can go back to the, uh, uh, back to the village. Fucking Gyarados though, holy shit. An Alpha Gyarados, that's gonna kick some serious tail. Research 2. 23 feet long. Yes, let's tell the old man Kamado exactly what you've been up to, shall we? Oh, since I'm here. Oh, wait. What? Roddy, sir. This one's artillery. Please hit Pokedex entry for Octillery as well. Pink one first. Blue one next. Now they don't just have different colors. One has spikes, one has fins. Looking dumb little sea, sl sea sluggy looking motherfuckers. Shallows of the East and the West. Alright, let's go upper rank. Amado can indeed wait. Captain Selene. Progress record, report, please. Bump me up a rank. I deserve my fourth star.
Leaden balls. And hyper potions! Oh, it's a super so potion and a vivid choke. Man, fuck yourself, Dave. You grind too hard. Don't grind like a fucking madman. Damn it. I just want Bugene to evolve into a dust ox. So I gotta wait till night, don't I? Alright, what's what you got? Bowler hats? Oh no. That is absolutely a fucking bismal. That seems like a lot more fucking oh headkerchief, that's why. Progunk shinks, twisted headbands. Earth fire. Woven hat. Festival shit. Basculation Legion Kimono. That looks kind of cool. It's not as cool as the Ligand one. Mountainscape. Oh, that's kind of nice. Argyle. Oh, Paisley. No, nah, none of that. Paisley's fucking vile. Horizontal shit. I really can't see. Earth, flame. And the rest of everyday shit. Same with the jeans. Those actually don't look too bad with the thing. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit, there's a suit available. Can't split toes, Zori. Ank ank Chelsea style fucking ankle boots. No fancy Zori uh, fancy gator sandals though. Oh I dare say Yeah, hit me up, Aries. Let's see what we got. <sighs> no, same shit. I just hate that the survey core style forces you to have that fucking hat. On the ponytail without the silly fucking cloth on me head. Same colours, same colours. Oh well. Not a bad look at all. Last thing, hat or no? Absolutely hat. I need my headband. Headband ties it all together, you see. Like the red of my eyebrows, the red of the sandals, and the red of my hair band, headband even. Perfect. All things in balance, as they should be. All right, time to fry my voice box. You 
concluded well on your mission to the Cobalt Coastlands. Your efforts there aided not only the Galaxy team, but the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift somehow. If we are able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Though how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Power of Arceus! Remain true to the mission. Uh, cheers, Stash. Mm. Always with the fucking mochi. Do you not get tired of eating the same fucking thing? Now, if you notice that today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, well, that's because I use a Pokemon's flame to roast them. Bon appetit. The birth of a new Lord Pokemon! What a sight that must have been! If only I had journeyed to Firespit Island to witness the event myself! Could you even ride on Basculation in the first place, Professor? Oh, come now! You know how my coordination is so poor, I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball! And I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin! Of course I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basculation! That being said, we'd all do well to remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. Shut up, Lavington. And strive I shall. For the sake of my research, I will surely ride a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. You could just ask me. I've got like three of them at the least right now. You just watch. Good grief, man. Oh, there we go. The next day. Oh, shit. It's the rail, uh, the rail conductor from Black and White. Ingo, I think. I'm not sure. Good morning, good lady who came from the sky. Commander Kamado has let, told me that to let you know he needs you, awaits your arrival in his office. Yo, so... Oh shit, Adaman. Hikari, I have your next orders. You must go to the Coronet Highlands to call another frenzied noble, Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Electrode has a propensity to store up electricity in his body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzied, those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. Hmm. We'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid and securing you safe package. Package? Passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word ahead to a reader asking. No, you don't have permission to go up the. Don't oh, save it as if I'll be stopped by the likes of you now. Out of my way. Oh. Damn. Hey ho, boss man Commodo. I thought it might have slipped your mind to send me an invite. So I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. Melly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's your issue right there, Adamant. I'm trying to- I'm going into that again. How exactly did you intend to discuss Electrode without me, it's a mighty warden, here to weigh in? There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Hikari to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Oh, come on! It's- is it me you're trying to humiliate here? Or our entire clan? Besides, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Bitch, I'll beat your ass back to fucking Sinnoh! Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. Paired no mind. It seems even Security Corps personnel I trained myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Melly. Oh, look at that fucking glare that man has given me. And that being said... Yeah. It is clear that the Security Corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. 
Hear that, Miller? The security corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight thanks to you. The commander's sumo moves can send even boulders flying. <laughs> now, now, that will do. Hikari, you have your orders. See to it that Electrode is quelled. Warden Melly, of course we would appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Now go! Scaling perilous heights. Yo, Melly a bitch! Listen, Melly, the Galaxy team, well, at least Hikari, is amazing. And we'll prove it. Follow me outside. Battle Adaman. Show. And his leafy on that's about to get fucking torched by Bactaro. Alright, Hikari, go around with me. Show. Sure. Mela, make sure you watch closely now. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Smarmy little fuck. Rosie toasty. Yeah, we gonna fucking do it hard. Done and dusted. Battle decided. Move mastered. Excellent. Happy water pulse. You see how good Hikari is now, yeah? No more sneering at her. Now, I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was gonna meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, Hikari. Glad to have your help as always. Mele, shift yourself unless you want to get even more of an earful than you're already due for. Oh, come on, Adamant. Cut me some slack here. That motherfucker's about to get it. Hikari. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. Your survey work will take you to Coronet Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands. But you'll need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. Sure. I suppose. Uh Man, this game is banging. Okay. <laughs> well done, Dave. Well done. Fucking Alpha Steelix, little bastard. Alright, Irida and Ingo. Hello, Irida. Hello, Hikari. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. <coughs> Sneasler. Is this a whole new fucking form Pokemon thing? Because I swear, if if they just like named the evolution or the Hisuian evolution of Sneasel, Sneasler, I'm gonna be a bit pissed. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt. How do you do before? I am the Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. 
Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now let's have you safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard! All aboard what, Ingo? There's no trains yet. Ingo's a bit like you, you know. He appeared one day from who knows where! It is the same fucking Ingo! From Black and White, the Battle Royale system thing. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in some of the gaps of his memory. I had wondered how he came to that fucking strange ass uh, coat and shit. In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count on once again, Hikari. Good luck up in the Highlands! Yo ho ho ho! Actually, that's the point. Dave, have you found, um. Uh, what's it? Uh, Hisuian Growlithe, by chance. Alright, Ares, what do you want? A Mysterious. Sure. And what do you want, Anthe? Yes, it fucking would. I need more. I need more clothes. Wormadam. Wormadam. Trash cloak. <laughs> That was easy. That was perfectly easy. Yeah, bowler hats, headkerchiefs, headbands, festival shit, twisted headbands, woven hat, flat caps. You're trying. Hey, if you find one before I do, let me know. Camo. Ugh. Karakusa. Vertical stripes, ugh. Vile. Right, nothing new in there. Fancy Zori. Ankle boots. Zori. And Gator. Nothing else new except for the fucking stupid. Dad. Uh, Pattern shit. All right, all right, all right. Dead center. Again. Hmm. There you are, my girl, and welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock and ground type Pokemon wandering about these craggy, boulder strewn heights. And up there, right beneath of that rift in space time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can see from here that the, uh, the ruins that were on in uh, BDSP are fully fucking formed. So something probably here shattered them to look like they are. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff! Oh, wait. Oh good, this is the camp.
All rested and happy and healthy and stuff. Oh shit, nose pass. Nose pass. Clefable. Rock and ground type. That's a Shinx. That's that's neither of those. Uh, Luxio even. You know, fuck it, we'll have him. Typho is so cool! I fucking love Bakutaro, man. And how they did Flamethrower. I will never stop saying that. Because I absolutely adore how they did Flamethrower. Strong kit. It looked like that. Just looked like the fucking Wormadam used that shit on me. Yeah, wild ass Lux Ray. Taking the cat nap. Wild Yarn Mega. Oh, he's fucking noticed me. Go on then, Yarn Maker, you piece of shit, I dare ya. You. you fucking heard me, you flappy little bastard, come get me. Can't, can you? Piece of shit. Almost. Hit it with the strong. Oh yay, grit dust. Take that up. Nineteen in the area, huh?
All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut it here guys. I've got a few things to do before I get ready for uh, for me hangout later. I hope you guys enjoyed. I fucking enjoyed. I've loved I love this game. I love this game so fucking much. Hey, don't forget to uh, actually you know throw a like on the stream. Like uh also sub if you think it's worthwhile, it's good shit. And I'll see ya. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna bla I'm gonna slam this out tomorrow as well. Like HCD is gonna have to. Uh, well, depending on how I feel, Horizon Zero Dawn might have to take a break for a few because I've still got the DLC to do. Or I'm just gonna have to double stream it like I did with um, fucking uh, BDSP and whatever I was playing at the time. We'll see. Till tomorrow, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of everyone else you know. And I'll see you around, fuckerinos. Ciao. And we gotta hit the end button.